and welcome back. Last time we left off, we'd finished uh, Sequence 4 with Haytham and Hattie, so we're now back in the modern era with Desmond. And I think it's time for us to jump back in the Animus. So, let's take a quick look around the temple, see what we've got to see for the moment. And we've got the creepy ghost of uh, Juno standing around. It's not freaky at all. <laughs> Okay, let's get back to the Animus, shall we? Ah, oh, it's right. been two Gross. weeks since I played this before, so if I forget any details, please forgive me. Don't let me hit stun you. A wira a wa unde yar don ja da gun. Tone wahra nagara de. Desa jera ne rot niha. Nek ti yate hunwa yata ne kera. Aze gan te jaja jera oni. Nek ti ya o tena de gari wasta kwe. A gungwe da sun a wahuan nordun kwe zi niot ne sa gode ya ogun a. Ze wa jerda sri at dizax ne heitham. Raganerun kwa kwe unte zi nito gwenyu. Nek zi ohondo yo ha wihtun ya de ha ganera kwe. Zi nuer da ojokwa templar a gwego tadinya rodar hox. Ne an ha at ke tsanis. Zi gat ke sun a riyan a ahigun sa gandanu a gat gato zi ne sa gara skanex. Okay, thanks for that, Zio. And we're now in the forest. It's going to be uh, fun. <laughs> Ooh, some nice looking huts there. Sequence 4, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. 1760. And loading screen. Is it one day star? Hmm. Oni sajerha. Ya otana guanek. Guanek. Raduna gedu. The work of Richard and Yana. Runaja gedu another ratu than you have dunis. Save by playtime. <laughs> How it was. Next, the dosa is it not a honda di yahaze. Okay, mother. <laughs> I shall be back soon. Yeah. Oh, looks like Connor was doing a little skip there. Can I? Can I go just the right speed. Ah, oh, no. There you go. <laughs> just skipping Connor along casually. Gotta hold the speed button very softly. <laughs> Oops, sorry about that, mate. Can I charge this guy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Taken down by such a uh, small kid. <laughs> Who's talking? Oh, he is. Hi there. Didn't see you for a second. Gundi Gawana o Guaho Yaga Gundi Nagere Gaa Tony Gunas Dinio Ne Oguari. Wolves as large as bears, Jesus. Uh, I wonder what game we're going to play. <laughs> ah, I didn't see. Good game. <laughs> wow. I pulled the very short straw there. Is it as a dot? Aska Degani Asa Gayeri. What am I counting to? Thousand? No. no, 100. Okay then. Mm. Let's do this. I'm gonna find these guys hiding places. Okay. Good thing I've got that eagle vision. <laughs> uh, optional objectives. Probably should pass these ones at least. If I remember correctly, I failed all the other ones. <laughs> Uh, right. Search the next clue. 
So I've got to find all the children within given time and find them all without making a mistake. Okay, well, I already found one. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> I mean, I'm not that good at it. You were kind of just hiding out under a rock. Looks like they're the best hiding place. But the other guys, they're uh, doing it as easy as you are. Right. We use that eagle vision. Ah, there's a clue down there. Your superpowers come in handy, Connor. Oop, should I say Radun Hagerden? Sure, I pronounced that right. Or I butchered it horribly. Who knows? Uh, right, another clue. Try not to jump in the hiding places. Don't want to fail this objective. There you go. So they're in a haystack right there. Or not. Uh, any more clues around to help me with this? Uh, I'm just going to assume they're in this haystack. Oh. Yes, I was correct. And there's another clue. Goody goody. You run very slowly. Young Connor. Oh, yeah, okay. Hey, Sarah. Really? Two of you are hiding in one place? But the best, uh, best decision when it comes to hide and seek. Ah, uh, right. Could you run a little faster, Connor? This is the slowest, slowest 30 meter run ever. Ugh. I'm gonna be old and grey by the time this finishes. Oh, play again? I already found you all once. Swear to god, if I'm on it again, I'm gonna be upset. Oscar! Degeni, also, the I get to hide this time. Uh, okay. I passed all the optional objectives that time. Oh, Connor, you run so slow. He's going to have counted all the way to 100 by the time I get to a hiding place. Come on. Ah, oh, there you go. The run jumping is faster. Don't anyone be in my hiding spot. There we go. Well, this does not seem good. What have we here? <laughs> oh god, it's Charles Lee. And his very ferocious looking mustache. <laughs> you look what can I help you with, Charles? Familiar. Where have I seen you before? In your nightmares. That wasn't very nice. Let me go! <laughs> Listen to that. He knows English. Small for savage. He's spirited too. We have questions for your elders. Only tell us where your village is, boy, and you can go. This isn't very nice of you, Charles. I could snap your neck. He does seem like a bit of a demon. A little more pressure and pop. The sad little flame of your life extinguished. You are a nothing, a speck of dust. You and all your ilk. Living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. The wiser among you recognize the shape of the future. They throw themselves at our feet and beg mercy. But not you, it seems. No. You cling desperately to your ways, too ignorant to know your folly. But I am not unkind. One hell of a bad guy monologue, Charles. And so I spare you. 
that you may carry word to your people. Let them know the sooner we are given what we seek, the sooner you can return to your pathetic, empty lives. A fair trade, is it not? What is your name? <laughs> Charles Lee. Why do you ask? So I can find you. <laughs> I look forward to it. Well, good. <laughs> Ouch! But that was really not very nice. Oh. Well, I think I may have a mild concussion here. Yeah. Let's run. Ooh. That's a big bonfire. I <laughs> wonder if they've got any marshmallows to roast. Mm. Let's run. Come on, Connor, you th I think you'd run a little faster. Come on, your village is on fire. Run faster, little man. Come on. Oh, fucking deer. Get in my way. What's <laughs> Oh. Let's find our mother. Ow. You got that adrenaline strength, Connor. Return home. Well, I am trying that. <laughs> uh. Jesus. Come on, Connor. Go out under the boat. There we go. Okay, it's the way here. Easter! Oh. Well, that's convenient. They got to smash my buttons. Oh, look. Oh, Connor, we got this. Oh, I don't think we have got this. This <laughs> Well, that screams childhood trauma to me. Very Gona. sad time for Connor. Oh, no, Nine years later. <laughs> oh, hi there. Let's take a look at my new outfit here. What have I got? I've got a bow and a stone hatchet. There's my weaponry. Although I have no arrows. So my bow's pretty Gosh. much useless. Our friend here doesn't even have a quiver. How is he meant to hunt anything with his bow? He hasn't even got any arrows or a quiver. Easy, Ona. Yeah. I reckon he summons arrows. <laughs> Teaching our friend how to climb. Zaha, <laughs> go 
<laughs> do not touch the ground or water for an optional objective. That I can do. <laughs> Stop complaining, my friend. Oh, well, <laughs> that didn't work. Yes, we failed that objective. So close. Yeah, for God's sake. That really wasn't clever, was it? <laughs> Maybe don't fall in the water next time, but buddy. Right. Where are we climbing from here? I guess we're climbing this one to get the feather. Let's do this, Connor. Right. Let's go. Ah. Forgot how much fun it was to just be able to hold one button and climb. <laughs> Oh, it's weird going back to the old Assassin's Creed games after playing the new ones for so long. Ah, right. One comma, Connor, climb. Oop, those. <laughs> Almost came straight off the tree. Always a good idea. Now we are coming off the tree. Ooh, you lucky bastard. <laughs> okay. Find more feathers. Okay. I'll get some feathers. May as well pass at least one of the optional objectives. Right. It's one. Alright. You gotta go that one. Alright. Let's see, is there any more on our way over to him? Doesn't show on the map. Maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be one in a, on the mini map. As we get closer. Uh, ah, yes, there we go. Now I've just got to get to it, okay. I can climb this tree. One corner, climb. And... That makes three. 
And let's just climb every tree on our way there. Much easier than running across the floor. No obstructions up here. Although I can only follow a certain path. I guess down I get. Go meet up with our buddy here. Hunting lessons, sequence four. <laughs> Where did I get arrows from exactly? I had none about three seconds ago. Okay, Connor definitely is magic. Yeah, you just stand there, rabbit. Okay, have you finished your conversation now? <laughs> right, snare. There you go. Okay, and then bait. Oh, can I not bait this one? Okay, we've got a track of deer. I have no bait, okay. So that's why I can't bait them. Makes sense. Ah, there you go. Clue. We can do this. Detective Connor on the case. Okay, we got a sneaky sneak this one. And now I've suddenly got bait. And now we wait. And I'm a little closer, friend. And there we go. <laughs> Ooh. That is quite a mess we left there. I'm just gonna walk away. Probably not my fault, I promise. Right. Let's see all the rabbits we caught. He can clean his snare, I'll clean mine. There we go. <laughs> How's he going to shoot a bow with no arrows? I, I, I'm still wondering about that. I need to combine snare and bait to catch. Animal, okay. Shouldn't be too difficult. And then I need to air assassinate some others. I did not read the last objective, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> ah, balls are all moving too fast. Let's get up in the hunting blind. Is there any around? Nope. These animals start way too easy. Ah, huh, we already caught an animal in the snare. Good. Alright. 
there are any creatures nearby. Need a deer or something. Alright. Oh, there's some deer over here. Run under me. Ah, no, that didn't work. And the deer ran off. Well, balls. Uh, oh, grab it, grab it. Got it. Haha. <laughs> Alright, I've got to kill three different types of animal. Where was my snare? It was over here. Is it gone? Ah, uh, I think I've moved too far away from it. Well, that's not good. Don't run there. Don't run. You rat bastard. Uh. Oh. Take my sweet time. I want these objectives. Shouldn't be too hard. Need to air assassinate two animals, then kill another type of animal other than the deer and the rabbit. You'll probably actually bait from the trees and air assassinate. Right. Just need to get close enough to draw an animal in. And now we play the waiting game. The very, very boring waiting game. Ooh, there's two animals coming in. And gotcha. <laughs> Let's skin the fox. Right, now I need to climb back up the trees. Let me climb. Ah, you... <sighs> Okay, we can do this. Oop. Okay. Come on, Connor. Work with me. Work with me. Jump where I'm telling you to, you bastard. Right. Now jump onto the branch, not away from it. Thank you. Right. Uh. Do not run far away from me, creatures. Right, let's bait again. This should do it. Ah, there's a fox under us. Can I get him? Yes. There you go. Now I need to hunt a deer. Right. I'm just gonna chase it and have it. There we go. Did I just stab that deer with a non-existent hidden blade? <laughs> the game's already broken. <laughs> oh. Chase the fox. I'm gonna get the fox. I'm gonna get my bow, actually. Got it. There we go. Easy peasy. And only took us forever. <laughs> okay, let's return. Return to Kanekdadadon. Something like that. This is... Yeah. Yeah, these names are going to absolutely kill me. <laughs> right. Ooh, ominous. Can I do Okay. Hello? Oh, he looks worried. Oh, balls. <laughs> That's one big bear. He couldn't have, uh... He couldn't have warned me about the bear while he was running. Ah, oh, balls. Yeah, uh, no. The warning would have been nice, my friend. Ah, uh, run away from the bear. Oh god, he's still chasing me. Oh, I'm stabbing him with non-existent hymn blades. Okay. Well, I guess the bear's not going to be a problem anymore. Still, a little warning about the bear would have been nice. 
Can I just... You didn't warn me, so now I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> that actually shoots him. <gasps> Our friend is immortal. He's a secret god. <laughs> It worked out very well. There's a lot of rabbits. Oh no, all my weapons are gone. They disappeared just as quickly as I gained them. Alright. Oh, everyone's gathered around. Hello, friends. How many of you can I bump into? None? There we go. Got through ya. <laughs> Hello there. What are we having here? A party? Well, this seems, uh, very cozy. It's a good thing I've got subtitles on so I can understand what they're saying. Ayatia <laughs> What's in the box? I wonder. Oh, bees a see through piece of Eden. It's a crystal ball. On a hold a tiger. It's invisible, is what it is. Greetings, Guardian. And now we're talking to the Isu. Are you a spirit? You may think of me as such. Where am I? You are where you were before. If you mean to ask what it is you now see, it is known as the Nexus. From here, probabilities are calculated so that the proper path may be chosen. What path? Yours. Well. Oh. We're in the Nexus and we're talking to Juno. Things got interesting real fast. <laughs> I'm oh, an me. eagle! Okay. Oh, how come you get to be a golden eagle? Ooh, yay. Now I can control it. What have you or are you an eagle on fire? Selected a form familiar to your culture. It is designed to ease navigation. I couldn't have just walked? We have waited like millennia would ease navigation. for arrival. You who will bring to him the last piece, that he may open the door. I do not understand. Nor need you. I sense my words cause pain, but such was not my intention. You are important, child, in more ways than you will ever know. Good As tonight. you speak, 
forces gather in secret, preparing to seize control of the land. If they succeed, the sanctuary will be breached. Fair enough. Oh, bulls hit a tree. <laughs> I was listening to you, Juno. Yours Let is me fly. a special lineage. Past. Present. Future. Many are connected to you. Many who have changed the world. Who will change the world. So too shall you. I have Ooh, called you tree. here that you might know your duty. You must protect the sanctuary from those who would undo our work. What sanctuary? What work? Uh, that's a Maintaining big tree. Force will result in a negative outcome. Premature access will destabilize the region. Your village and its people will be destroyed. Good to know. What am I to do? You will learn of a man who will provide additional training. Seek this symbol. No Okey doubt you have many questions. Time will see them answered. For now, you must follow. Leading is for later. Ah, oh, man, I failed just before the end. Damn it. Flying as an eagle was fairly fun. <laughs> and now we're just going back to a cutscene, I assume. Uh, enjoy the loading screen, people. <laughs> Seems like it's what we have to enjoy. It's a very long loading screen, and I'm a very impatient person. Ah, uh, there we go. Ah, uh, enjoy the cutscene. Radun hage dun got nuwe got nuwe ni satka to tiga gari wayarunits to adun heads wagena duni what garo di rungwe daya jadatka agena dun hase or ni zi akande hmm da tune tiga runungwe easy na gahanda di tunas gari we si wagaderi under the nu easy gi oni ara haja di zadet ni go rizu ne dosa seri wayena you go ar harats dune aye de wadun hunjanuna Next year, the sherry de nip nise. They ought to new hage or hunjage than o ya tondo a yungwa da se tunhage. Yaka a takit scored again than o agader harder than ne ay de wat wan dat ne. Wat gunya to dardi sigi o wadu er o se de. Well, thank you, Clamma. Oh, charity is a deri huadeniani. Ize gunya tak gweni da gori huadeni. Yaha sa giga. Yeah, my mother trained under the assassins, eh? Good to know. <laughs> Seria Sadoga, Nexi gets honey, so the Ezos are hard. Wash says Akane, Gardi Huayronitsu, Satahatsori. Thank you. 
Now let's see the sleeping bag completely disappear. <laughs> yep, not yet. But I certainly won't be carrying it with me, I guess, when I uh, make my way to the homestead. Yep, we finished sequence four. Fun. <laughs> Am I going to talk or just sit here? Leaving home was harder than I thought. I expected the journey would fill me with a sort of pride, a sense of accomplishment. But whatever it was that carried me away from home soon fled, replaced by questions and no small amount of doubt. Had I been too hasty? Had I made a mistake? The others in the village, they thought this was something I wanted, something I chose to do. But it never felt that way to me. No. It was not a choice. It was an obligation. Because if not me, then who? Oh, there's a peg leg trophy down there. Uh, let's see if I can grab it quickly. So, that away down. Oh. I don't really know where to go from here. I have a feeling if I let go, we are going to die horribly. Yep. My assumption was right. We did die horribly. <laughs> well, maybe I'll just leave the trinket be for now. Alright. We're going in that direction. Oh, I can just fast travel there. Okay. Makes my life a lot simpler. Fast travel makes the world go round. And means I don't have to spend two hours running to any place. Right, here we go. Making my way to the homestead. Should be fun. Why can I not run it? Oh. Get out of the way. Oh hi there. After him. Oh, hi there. Oh, is that it? Okay. Bye. I guess. Yes, I want to go to the homestead. Thank you very much. Me and my four arrows. And just circle Connor. And... Yeah. Do a very entertaining run in a circle. There you go. <laughs> right, we're at the homestead. Goody goody. Go find the old man. Alright, where's the jump point? Ah, it's over there. Jump point, I mean, leap of faith. And down we go. Ooh, that looked like it hurt. <laughs> oh, still no hidden blades. So, ooh. Hi there. Uh, don't mind if I borrow your horse, do you? Hey, what are you doing? That's mine! I'll have your head, Kate Grace! No, I'm sorry. I guess he did mind. <laughs> I'm sure I'll return his horse Hello. later. Hello. You must be one of them native fellas here from the, uh, what's it called? Iroquois tribe. Hey, you from that? Of course not, Terry. Iroquois ain't a tribe. Is so. Is not. The Iroquois is a confederation. Confeder what now? Confederation, Can I stick around for more talk? It's a group, an alliance. Lots of different kinds of people all united. Right. Like I said, a tribe. Listen, you toddy headed twiddle poop. There's a difference between a tribe and a confederation, and it's not my fault your skull's too thick to make sense of it. Who are you calling a twiddle poop, you crump buck scab? Hey, now, 
Das ist between me and him. Yeah, mind your okay. business. Jeez, okay then. You weirdly insulting people. No, I don't want to call it a twiddle poop. Can I kill you guys early? Best you move along. What if I just stand here? What do you think you're at? Won't warn you again. Right. I'm gonna provoke these guys. Ow. <laughs> oh, you're immortal bad guys. Wow, that looks uh That looks kinda painful. Do you need me to help you there? No? Okay then. <laughs> I guess I'll run. I probably should have taken my horse, but uh, I can see the house. Run, Connor, run. Somebody just shoot an arrow at me. I swear I had an arrow hit the ground. <laughs> Maybe the guy's throwing him back at me. Alright. Ah, very nice house indeed. Hello, housekeeping. Please answer the door. Hello? I hadn't even knocked yet. There you go, now I'm knocking. Hello? Let me in. Come on. I guess not. What? Ah, um, finally. I I was told you could train me. No. Okay then. Go away. I'm not leaving. And of course, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Gotta love the raining games. And that's the end of Assassin's Creed, guys. He said no, we're not being trained. <laughs> oh, that would have been a fun way to end the game <laughs> after I need a place three to hours. <laughs> Guess we're gonna sleep in the barn. Not barn, stables. Get it right, Josh. Get it right. It does not look like a very comfortable bed, if I say so myself. And you don't even have a pillow. Yeah. And it's still raining. <laughs> and hell of a thunderstorm we've got going on here. Oh, not a thunderstorm anymore. The day after. Fair enough. Oh, no, it is a thunderstorm. Okay then. Yeah, don't need to go up stop hiding next to the door. We're not at the point of breaching the door yet. <laughs> there must be another way in. Hey, I guess we're gonna do some breaking and entering. Seems like a good plan. Man only had a walking stick, I'm sure he can't be that deadly. a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead. So let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land. <laughs> this is where get off my porch originated. <laughs> or get off my lawn. I'm coming up! Achilles was the old man, to, the first old man to say it. Uh, I guess we're going to break in another door. How many doors does one house need? Kind of, will you? Why are you stuck up here? I know, clearly did not want to leave his post. Just hear me out. Pun what are intended. you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? 
They still all a self-important little scab like you. Ah. Oh. Or you might dream. This is dangerous. A hero of riding to rescues, of saving the world. But stay this course, and the only thing you're gonna be is dead. Thanks for that, Achilles. <laughs> the world's moved on, boy. First you do too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. That's it, Connor. Just we'll just wait him out. <laughs> He's sure to die soon anyway. <laughs> You can just wait out and take the house. I will not be defeated so easily. I mean, we want him to train us, so if he dies, it's kind of pointless being here, but still. <laughs> Didn't really think that one through. Ooh. Looks like we've got some unfriendly faces about. These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with, little bridges. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't yeah, we're say very we stubborn. didn't warn you. They had their fists out a second ago. Ooh. That wasn't very nice. Ah, jeez. Look at the savage dog! That wasn't very nice of you. Ow. Ow. You're only making things work. Ow. I am so gonna lose 50% of my health. Ow. Songs and spirits can't save this? you now. Ow. Will you guys stop attacking me while I'm trying to kill your friends? It makes things a lot harder. Yeah, stop attacking me while I'm killing your friends, people. Come on. Why are you here? What do you want? Best to ask the boss man. Ugh. Ooh, that wasn't very nice. You working for the old man then? That it? Maybe this will get you to. Oh, he's dead. Oh. <laughs> hey, and he's dead. Thank this you. Achilles is dangerous. Clean this up. Then I suppose we should talk. Uh. Mm. Yeah, I finally get to go in the house. Let's go. <laughs> is he finally going to let me in or is he going to knock me over with his walking stick again? Oh no, I can go in. Jesus, Connor. You are one fat ass if you're breaking chairs. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway. Good to know. Who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, Good tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, here you are. The spirit said that, that I am... spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Uh, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? No. Well, that's it. It was our ancestor in some way, so. Tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. Well, I don't know if Ezio is one of Connor's descendants or ancestors. I don't know if they're directly related, but who knows? And so. I hope so. This is why the assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, 
your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on. I've something to show you. Okay. Good to know. Careful. Uh, wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you repair it? What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> oh, Look at me. You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? Oh, so naive. Indeed. <laughs> This way. Ah, hmm. oh. if anyone wants to know what happened to this place, you'll have to go play Assassin's Creed Rogue. It's all explained. You even get to learn how Achilles got his limp. Ah, uh. <laughs> maybe I'll play it on here one day. Who knows? <laughs> well, I mean, stream it. I've already played it and completed it, <laughs> as I have with every Assassin's Creed game. <laughs> You can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I, I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. <laughs> Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Why, well, thank you, Achilles. Come on, th we've work to do. <laughs> Guess I've got to do all the heavy lifting. Sounds like a superb plan. <laughs> You are a Aether speck of dust, and Lee. a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they back the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, a people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together. It's weird to think that Haytham's father was an assassin, and yet he became a uh, Templar. Which is actually all explained in the Assassin's Creed book for Assassin's Creed 3. Assassin's Creed Forsaken, the book is called. And I read it all. So I and trained in running Edward died. And climbing, it's not very nice. And fighting and falling. And for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. Ooh, so I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the order, these men would become my targets. So I worked harder, learned faster, but for all my progress, it was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun. Okay, the monologue is finished. Good morning. 
to you as well. Morning, Achilles. You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house, and you're going to help me. Get it? Okay. Oh man, I lost all my arrows again. I mean, I shot all those into the invincible poacher, didn't I? Fair enough. Maybe I should have shot him in the knee. Seeing if what, what everyone says in Skyrim is true. If it really does stop you being an adventurer. Uh. Mm. Let's do this. Can't be much danger just going into town to buy wood. And nails and whatever else you need to fix a house in the uh, 18th century. <laughs> stare. Sorry. Come on. So it's been 10 years since our hide and seek game. So it is now 1770. This place <laughs> is incredible. The people, the sounds and smells. I could walk these streets for days and know not even half its wonders. I thought the same as you upon a time. These days I much prefer the quiet of the countryside. But there is so much life here, so many opportunities. For a few, you seem like a very grumpy old man, Achilles. I think I'm wearing the appropriate clothes for winter. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is. And they'll see that it's loaded. Understood? Yes. Good. You're also going to need a new name. It's a lot of coins. Is fair enough that you might pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. Better to <laughs> be thought a Spaniard than a native. Go the Italian Both route. We've got Ezio in our blood. That is not true. What's true and what is? Aren't always the same. What would you call me then? Connor. Yes, that will be your name. All right then, <laughs> off you go. And so Connor Kenway is born. <laughs> Son of Hatham Kenway, grandson of Edward Ken Kenway, and very, very distant descendant of Ezio and Thoric. <laughs> Ugh. And I've got no arrows, that's no good. Jim! Can I kick the chicken? No. No fable abilities in this one. Uh. I grow tired right, let's buy what we need. Seems each day a new tax is levied. A new I guess we shall buy ourselves some lumber. You lost? I need the items on this list. Will you be paying with coin or trade? Uh, my very big coin purse I shall be paying with. He has a very greedy smile some on his face. Some of these things I have, some I don't. Lumber's hard to come by since my supplier up and vanished. I have the tools and pitch though. Nails too. So uh, where do you want this delivered? Our wagon is near the state house. very helpful just put in any wagon near the state 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 house i guess oh jeez can't even get my words I out should return to achilles who stands in parliament for boston for new york oh oh <laughs> seems like all hell is breaking loose out here hey achilles what happened that's what we're Spend going some to money. find out follow me And we're taking a very slow walk. Come on, Achilles. I know you're crippled, but could you move a little faster, man? I mean, it's a video game. Just like 
cheap Kojo way to a healthy leg and move it. Please? Uh, nah, it's okay. I love you, Achilles. I say again, disperse! <laughs> Congregating in this manner is forbidden! We're not going anywhere, bug! Oi! Why don't you go back to England? No good can come of this chaos! Return to your homes, and all will be forgiven! Never! Not until you've answered for your crimes! You're right, coward! You don't scare us! Guns and on, on. We ain't afraid! <sighs> It is Papa. Is Hello, Papa. <laughs> My father? Yes, which means trouble is sure to follow. I need you to tell his accomplice. This crowd is a powder keg. We can't allow him to light the fuse. But... But nothing. Do as I say and go. Come on, you gosh-gutted coward! It doesn't shoot at me! Hey, lobster! Go ahead! Fire your little gun! Yeah, these guys really hate the British. I probably shouldn't get that close to this guy. Oh, that didn't work. I'm gonna climb up high. There you go. Uh. Let's do this. What's all the fuss about? Fire at the townhouse. Just sneakily follow this guy from the rooftop up here. Sneaky deaky. He cannot see me. Oh, oh. Thought I was going to fall off the building then. Ah, oh, balls over there. Ah, hide behind the chimney. There we go. Probably, oh. Yeah, probably shouldn't have chosen to go out in the open at that point. Don't come over here. Keep on walking, friend. Oh, no, he saw me. Keep on walking. Go on. Okay, do I get to stab this guy soon? Oh, he's sneaking just like me. And he dead. Your plot has ended. Not quite. Oh God, Charles Lee. Oh, damn you! Fire! But this isn't good. They're shooting at the innocents. How could they? Escape within the time given. Okay. Bulls. Gotta get out of here. Just gotta get out of the red circle. I probably should have stuck to the rooftops or something, but there you go. Ah, oh, there you go. That was easy. I need to find Achilles. And. Ooh, bulls need to get myself back on the rooftops away from guards. Oh god, it's all the way over there. Oh, it's not too far. 146 meters should only take me 20 minutes to run to it. <laughs> uh, right, let's go, Connor. Oh. You got that assassin blood coursing through your your veins, as well as that. Um, Welsh blood, or British blood, from uh, Edward and Haytham. The mother's American blood. Over here. <laughs> Got plenty of blood running through your veins, Connor. You're Achilles, boy. Connor, was it? Yes, I saw yes, what was. happened at the townhouse. A fine mess that. Who are you? Samuel Adams, at your service. Achilles asked me to get you out of Boston. Explain. The whole city's looking for you. 
Oh, yay! Oh, yay! A criminal stalks the streets, wanted in connection with the massacre at the townhouse. Citizens are advised to call the guards if they see him. Ten pounds to whoever brings this mad What am I supposed to do? Go up and yeah. give the guy as much money you as you've got. You can take down these posters for a start. Oh, put Return down the to me once you remove the others. Hmm. Because everyone seems to be get amnesia whenever you pull down a poster. Those posters remain. Okay. I'm going to. Oh, yeah, he didn't hear that. That's good. And sneaky, sneaky stab. Yep, we're all good. And we're not all good. Okay. He's a runaway. <laughs> Stab in the face. All of us are in danger. And poster number two. And oh, there you go. I only have to take down two. Guess I'm gonna have to murder some more people though. Go. Nope. Yeah, I don't think I'm quite geared up for this fight. Murder some more, more of the backpack guys. There you go. Ah, he's, he's shooting at me. And he's dead. I guess I did have the uh, equipment for this fight. And I'm, I'm pretty sure these are all exactly the same guy. Just with slightly darker beards than each other. Oh, you got over here fast, Sam. <laughs> ah, Connor. There you are. I'd like you to meet Cyrus. Is it... is he the killer? Peace. Cyrus is on our side, or rather, for the right price he will be. Have you seen this man? Oh, fair enough. Watch and learn. Oh yay, oh yay! Word has reached us that the man responsible for today's shooting may have been in disguise. A wig and makeup tin were found near the scene of the crime. Witnesses describe a middle-aged gentleman of pale complexion fleeing towards the wharves, rifle in arm. Thank you kindly, oh. Cyrus. Fair enough. Pleasure. Come on, then. There's still one last bit of work to do. One way to clear my name. Where are we going? To the printer. Where do you think all those posters came from? They're made by a machine. We need to shut it down. Good to know. Let's get on that. So I can become a full assassin. Me want to see the robes. And the hidden blades. Oh, gee, come on, Samuel, keep up. I can go by rooftop and meet you there. No. Better you learn about the tunnels now. Tunnels? The Masons have a whole network of them under the city. They're quite useful when speed and secrecy are required. Okay, let's do this. Let's run. Speedy, speedy. Yep, oh, and they're being guarded. Oh, Jesus, Samuel. Keep up. Starting to get on my nerves, man. Right. Here we go. Secret back alley. These guards are really terrible if they're not guarding the other alleys. And down into the tunnels we go. Or not, because we're waiting for Sam again. Here we are then. I'll see you inside. Okay, let's go. And good old loading screen. Hold on. Yeah. Now we're down in the dark, dark tunnels. At least it's not a sewer. 
I very much hate sewer levels in video games, especially in uh, Dying Light or Dead Island, one of the two. They're terrible sewer levels. By terrible, I mean terribly difficult. Use your lantern to light the lamps, Connor. They'll help us find our way should we get turned around. I wonder why they built these tunnels. They probably built them to move around in, Connor. Excellent. Let us move on. Okay. Uh, I shall take this route. Mm, much Seems like it's good to say it. We must follow the rats, as they often move in the direction of an exit. Good to know, Samuel. I'm sure if I just keep walking one path for long enough, the game will take me to where I need to go. Tends to be how they work. Let's do this. Yeah, found our way out. Well, well. You were right. I apologize for ever doubting. No wonder Achilles has taken such an interest in you. Ars. I don't suppose lockpicking is part of your repertoire? It is indeed, Samuel. Let me show you. <laughs> and... Good old lockpicking. But how much of a pain in the ass lockpicking was. <laughs> well done. The printer isn't far. Let us reconvene there. Okay then. Oh god, did they put me in another loading screen? Come on. Full synchronization. Good to know. It's not hard to get full synchronization when all you're doing is going into a tunnel. Animus loading area. You should put fun stuff in these, like little obstacle courses for you to run while you wait. <laughs> yeah, gotta go to the green area and meet with Sam Adams. Okie dokie. I can't be bothered to walk all the way around, so let's just climb. Don't worry about me, mate. I'll be off the roof soon. And... Ooh, broken ankles. At least it should be. Ah, let's do this. <laughs> you ask a great deal of me, Sam. I know. But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important. If it wasn't vital. Fine. Just this once, though. In the future, such things will come at a price. Resetting the type is neither quick nor easy. To say nothing of the cost should I be discovered. I shall not forget this kindness. Nor I. His work will see your last little bit of notoriety erased. Come, I'll show you how to leave now that order's been restored. Okay, thank you, Samuel. So, now you've had a chance to see how it all works. Untoward actions will upset the citizens and inevitably lead to the guards being caught. Depending on the severity of your transgression, they may simply search a bit before giving up and returning to their post. But should you offend them severely or repeatedly, they'll become much more aggressive in their pursuits. I've shown you three ways to turn the tide. Remove wanted posters, bribe town criers, or visit a printer to create your own propaganda. This feels wrong. Why not just speak to someone and explain my innocence? You can't be serious. We counter one lie with another. Words on paper instantly taken as truth. And all of it without question. They loose this beast! Or have you forgotten? I merely helped you tame and turn it round. There must be another way. Something more honest. But when you find it, do let me know. But until then, we sculpt with the clay we have. My apologies. I do not mean to sound ungrateful. Quite all right. I was much the same. Here we <laughs> are. Well, I guess he's not going to finish the sentence. Speak with the harbor master, and he'll see you home. Thank you for everything, Sam. I promise one day to repay the favor. 
Oh, I'm counting on it. Like this. There you go. Now we can finally leave. Go back to the homestead. Oop, hi there. <laughs> Yes, I get it. Mission complete. Full synchronization. Right. It's fast travel to the homestead. We can do this. Can't believe Achilles just left us in the city, though. What an arsehole. <laughs> Could have at least stayed and talked us through. We had to have Sam as our walking tutorial. We can do this run in one direction. At least in the newer Assassin's Creed games you can practice with your weapons while you're in there. Ah, and I loaded all the way down here. Ah, now it's the long run back up to the bloody mansion. There we go. Climb Connor, climb. <laughs> You stay away from me, working bastard. <laughs> I don't want to be dealing with any animals right now. You all have a tendency to be super overpowered. <laughs> Except rabbits, they're weak in every game. Right. And vault that. It's a very nice vault, Connor. Let's find the old man. Where is he? Probably sat in his ass. Yep, sat in his ass. <laughs> Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good, but experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will, after the house has been repaired. But he's out there, plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him? If you found him. You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Ooh, do I finally get my hidden blades? Yep. Go on before I change my mind. <laughs> put them on, Connor. Okay, you put them on very quickly. <laughs> oh, hi there. <laughs> Godfrey. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm coming. Calm down, Godfrey. You, sir, please, help! He's going to die! Okay, let's do this. <laughs> Ooh. There's no time! Please, come! Okay, jeez. I'm coming. Calm your tits, Jeff. Godfrey. Almost called you Jeffrey, then. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll remember your name eventually. You guy got my hidden blades. <laughs> I'm almost a fully grown assassin. <laughs> yeah. What's going on, Godfrey? Who are we saving? Down there! Oh, He's your friend. Pass under the bridge! <coughs> Oh, balls. That didn't work. I'm not really bothered about getting the full synchronization right now. Just want to save this guy. I can come back later and get 100 sync on all the game, on all the levels. Yeah. 100 sync is only really important if you want the Altair outfit anyway. Yeah. 
and your Ulta Air outfit's all well and good, but I never really wear any of the uh, other outfits in the game. Ah, uh, stop your screaming, I'm on my way, man. Okie dokie, hold on. There you go, and dive in. There you go, we saved him. So I jumped in the water, then rewound and jumped back in the water again. Where did the massive log go? <laughs> What this knobend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling? A knobend? You, because you are one. What were you doing on those logs? <laughs> one of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. We're building our homestead. Sequence 5, River Rescue. <laughs> and we failed the optional objective. Seems, seems to be a recur recurring theme in this. <laughs> uh, Although I've never done an Assassin's quiet. Creed game and got 100 sync on every mission. First try. Okay. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset. Good to know. Okay, so those are the missions used to recruit new homesteaders, and then you use them to craft your resources for later. For now though, I think I'm going to leave the homestead missions and just keep on going through story missions. At least up until I gain my assassin's robes and things like that. Oh man, I've got to run all the way there. Yeah. Once I've... Uh, Got my assassin's robe and we're fully into the story. I'll start doing side missions and things. But now it still feels like we're in a bit of a tutorial phase, so... I'm just gonna keep on this path. <laughs> ah. I'm surprised Achilles made it they so fast, if he's already there. This is taking us a while, and we're not having to walk with a walking stick. Or cane. Whatever he calls it. And there be the, uh... There be the... The Aquila? The Aquila? Something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it. Pretty sure it means eagle, though. As does a lot of the stuff in Assassin's Creed. Like Altair's name. Altair is the constellation of the eagle or something, if I'm correct. Which I'm probably not. Because, you know, I'm not all that clever. <laughs> swim, Connor, swim. And how quickly is Connor going to dry off in the frozen winter? Okay, you crazy peg leg person. Alright, let's do this. Go away. No, we will not go away. Say go away, boy. Do you not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. 
little boy. His name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. <laughs> She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention. Minor things mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Minor Who is she? Things. Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him <laughs> here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor. Meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. I'll raise a crew. Are they all going to be as drunk as you, Faulkner? Reach Achilles. Let's do this. Animus database, the Aquila. Yeah, I think she's going to need more than some minor repairs, Faulkner. Just a few more. She seems very big state of disrepair. Uh, come on, Connor, climb. Good man. Uh, just gotta go to the old, old manor on the hill. Oh, and our raccoon friend's still here. Is he gonna run if I get close? No. Oh, yeah. I was kinda hoping he would just kinda sit there. I know I told him I didn't like him before, but he's grinding on me. <laughs> Go on, Connie, you can make it through the snow. There we go. And into the manor. Alright, where's Achilles? Is he sat on his ass again? Uh, there you are. Yes. Yes, I have something to show you. Come, take a look. Oh, a book. What is it? Nice. A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Cool. Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. Before Shay Cormac. <laughs> but that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works. Yep, and stockpile, buy some lumber. And then... Sell all the lumber. There you go. And we're all done. Yep, done that so many times I can do it extremely fast now. <laughs> Certainly hope Achilles wasn't planning on talking through that. <laughs> Time passed quickly after that. My days a blur of study, training, and work. What little free time Achilles allowed me was spent learning about the Templars. About Charles Lee and my father. I longed to confront them. To put an end to their schemes. To ensure my people would remain untroubled and free. But I knew it was too soon. That to approach them now would seem Oop, this was the wrong choice. <laughs> All my work would be for nothing. Patience. <laughs> he's still talking after he's dead. I thought there was water down there. Well, there is water down there, but... Basically, oh. I actually got here faster by doing that. Fair enough. And I did it on purpose. Totally did it on purpose. Uh Totally knew that was going to happen. <laughs> All right. Go on. Come Let's aboard go, and feast your eyes, boy. No, 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 not the left foot. Never the left foot. 
Horrible look. Step with your right foot first. <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> She is solid. Aye, <laughs> weatherly and sleek. She'll fetch twelve knots in a stiff gale. Ne'er a ship from here to Singapore can outrun her on her best day. What do you say we take her out? Good to know. Show you what she can do first hand. Where would we go? As it happens, she still needs guns and the officers to command them. We'll launch straight away. <laughs> Don't worry, lad. I'll make sure you sprout good sea legs. Good to know. All in the mainsail. Get up the rigging. Hand over fist. Come on, men. Let's get her out where she needs to be. And the Aquila flies again. And we're back in a loading screen. This game is like 30% loading screens. Uh, just run in one straight line till it's over. Come on, Connor. We can... And it's over. Thank God. Come on, lad. No time like the present. 1773. Jeez, it's been three years. <laughs> Take the helm. That's the only thing in Assassin's Creed games that is a bit strange for me. It's the time jumps. They always seem so random and choppy. Double time, boy. It's time you learnt. Yeah, some missions will jump two on, years in the future. Bite. Some missions will jump a year backwards. Ugh. They never really seem to be completely chronological. Ah! The Aquila flies again! Do you feel it, lad? Set a course for Martha's Vineyard. We'll find our guns and officers there. She's a nimble vessel, but the faster she goes, the more cumbersome she grows. And the firmer your hand needs to be. Enjoy this stretch of open water before we come upon those shallows. Call for full sail if you like. Uh, I, I would like, as I am now the captain. This is my ship now. <laughs> Wind looks to be shifting. Stay alert, Connor. Gusty winds can be difficult to manage. Don't worry. I have plenty of practice in Black Flag. <laughs> Got. Want to move that little bit faster, and then offsail it, so we don't smash into all these rocks over here. And let's try not to smash into this ship either. I'm a very bad driver when it comes to games, and sailor, and pilot, and horse rider. Now, I'm basically terrible at anything shallows. that isn't feet. Careful not to on run the up on them. The sandbars will slow us down, but the rocks will put a hole through a hole. And if you want to make a quick tack, call for half sail. She's more manoeuvrable then. Good to know. Cheers for that. Not quite as big as the jackdaw, mind you. At least I think not. Can't remember how big the jackdaw was. Yeah. It's a very peaceful sail. Mind not getting attacked. Other vessels. It's always nice. Hold your tack to keep your right of way. Is that ship gonna get out of my space? No. Am I gonna have to turn out of its space? Okay. Look out for those ships! Oh. What, what damage did I take? <laughs> I didn't even bump into the ship. Come on. That's bull. Michael Baloney. Ooh, where's that music coming from? Yep. There's Martha's Vineyard, I think. We got this. That music is very loud if I can hear it all the way out here in the ocean. Go. Let's go. <laughs> 
can't believe it took damage with my Cartridges. tiny little We're close. collision. <laughs> Didn't even collide with it. My sail bit there kind of just phased through the ship and I took damage. Yeah, we got this. I guess it's time for us to go get some cannons. No, I'm not. I'm not going to stop. I'm just going to keep on going forwards. There we go. Okay. Very good to know, Faulkner. Very good. Thank you very much. <laughs> I guess we're off to get our guns. Let's just hope our guns oh, aren't as drunk as Faulkner. You're looking every bit as ravishing as I remember. Hmm. After all these years, you sail all the way to the vineyard to pay me compliments. We are looking for David and Richard Clutterbuck. <laughs> nice to see you too. Robert Faulkner. Where the hell you been? Sorry for leaving like I did, lads, but where I was going, no one could know. You two working much? No. Nah. Between contracts at the moment. Well, we're looking for gunnery officers. What would you two say to working with me again? We'd be for getting into a few more scraps. <laughs> ah, good show. The Aquila is a fine vessel. We're fitting all the guns as we speak. Looks like your friend's about to catch a beating. Where is Charles oh, Lee? Oh. There we go. I don't much oh. care. No, I don't have to hey, worry about sound from the outside world. That, <laughs> Bobby Faulkner turned to wet nursing. <laughs> it's good you finally realize you're a shite sailor. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not in oh, here, that's gentlemen. That's not very nice. Better still, not at all. Bobby, take your friends and get out. Let's go, boys. Why are we getting kicked Our guns out? Our <laughs> be ready. Come on. Why isn't Biddle the one getting kicked out? He seems like he's the asshole. <laughs> Why on earth do we have to leave? Ooh. We have got lots of nice cannons. Very nice cannons. The older man is a Templar. Who was he with? A Templar? The young buck was Nicholas Biddle. Nobody. Sails before the mast. Midshipman for the crown. Are the guns ready? Aye, but we won't jump in over our heads. We'll find a suitable target and show you how they work. We've fitted her with a modest amount of guns to start, but rest assured there's ample room to add more should you feel the need. Looks like a British frigate with half seas over. Should do nicely for a spotted target practice. Bring around broadside, and when all guns are on target, call fire. Ground shot for a start. Well done, boy. Now, aim all guns at her bow and do as much damage as possible. Now give the swivel guns a turn. More precise. Hit those old powder barrels and light up the sky. Never gets old. Not bad for us, bud, Captain. So though we had a pretty good you shot there. You are a fast learner. Provided something. At least these ships me. can't shoot back. Ah. Getting a taste for the open sea, are we? We'll make a jack tar out of you yet. 
Now we should be getting back. The old man is like to have my hide for keeping you out so long. Okay, let's get back. I'm just happy these ships couldn't shoot back at us. Mm. Right. All right, we got a sail almost 2,000 meters. Mm. We got this. We got to use swim guns to destroy ships and brace when attacked. Okay. Destroying property of the crown, mm. disturbing the king's peace. Take your pick. What do we do? No help but to fight back. Sink the bastard. Ah. I don't think that counts as a successful brace. <laughs> oh, who did we crash into? Yeah. Good night. Oh, this ship doesn't want to sink very easily. And. No, oh, no, missed again. We'll go down to half sail and get a bit closer. Ugh. The ship doesn't want to shoot back. How am I meant to successfully brace if it's not going to shoot? Oh. And you're going to shoot? No? Have I destroyed all your cannons? We're going to assume so. Okay. There we go. And we're all good. English frigate! Oh, BB Twattles, another one. Where in the bloody hell did she come from? Brace! Right. I guess we're bracing. <laughs> now we've got a, quite a nice big ship. That did not seem to do any damage whatsoever. Ah, balls. I'm just going to have to keep bracing, aren't I? Oh, for God's sake. Stop shooting at me. Let me get up and shoot you, you rat bastard. That's correct. I'm just going to start shooting at that shit now. There you go. Chip is almost gone. One more hitch, I think. Or not. Oh god, we're gonna get sunk. Ooh, that one hurt. Come on. And hit the ship. Come on, hit it, hit it. Yes. There we go. I can't regain my health by boarding ships in this Carry game. On, <laughs> little before their the time. Boy, Jay boy. Now we best be getting back at the old man will have my guts for garden. <laughs> I'm sure we've been gone quite a long time. We only failed one optional objective, that's not bad. Our track record is failing almost all of them, so. <laughs> Seems like a good way to go about it. Yeah. And back into our little white loading screen of Doom. <sighs> Stare at Connor's face while we wait. Those eyes are piercing. He's looking I right in my em. soul. All of them. You get what I need, and I'll give them to you. Simple. You got a ship. Could find them all to boot. Who is that man? Him? Some old salt always on about letters he's got from Captain Kidd. Nonsense, really. But he doesn't hurt no one, so I'll leave him be. Talk to him if you fancy, but be warned he'll chew your ear off. Anyway, the Aquila's here for you. If you should get a pang for the open sea, we'll be waiting. Now, I implore you to head up the hill before the old man comes out of retirement just for me. <laughs> Fair enough. 
We got this. Few weeks, and not even a oh, good bye. Three weeks. <laughs> Sorry. Well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Follow the old man. Ooh, do we get our robes? Put them on. Ooh. We've got our robes, but our hood isn't attached yet. <laughs> Once upon a time, we had a ceremony on such occasions. But I don't think either of us are really the type for that. You've your tools and training. Your targets and goals. And now you have your title. Welcome to the Brotherhood, Connor. Yeah. Thank you, Achilles. <laughs> it's real good. Memory sequence five completed. And we got our robes. Oh yeah. We're a fully grown assassin now. Ooh, look at us. We're a big boy assassin. Got our cool ass fan brace. And we're back in present day, back, of Desmond. course. You'll be happy to hear there's actually good news for once. Yeah? I've managed to locate a power source, and it's relatively close by. Up for a trip to Manhattan? Is it safe to leave? Abstergo's gotta be looking for us. Obviously, it's not safe. Can't exactly sit around here hoping to get lucky, though, can we? We need that power source. Besides, I'm sure you can cook up some way to hide our movements. Maybe. <laughs> the Templars have access to all kinds of satellites and camera systems. We'll need to find a way to mask our digital signature. I can probably camouflage the van, too. But there's not much I can do for us. That's an easy one. <laughs> yeah, very easy. Ah, oh, I guess we're back in the modern age. Oh, hey there, Desmond. <laughs> hmm. I mean, like, like the modern day. Yeah, I actually wouldn't mind a modern day Assassin's Creed. Seems like it would be okay if they managed to do it, right? Disruptions to service are expected to be minimal. <laughs> If only they knew. What's this? A Ooh, remote drawing. operated <laughs> camera. It'll provide us with a feed while you're on mission. This will let us talk to each other. We're almost there, so listen up. The artifact is in an office penthouse in Lower Manhattan. At this time of night, direct infiltration is going to get you noticed. I think we're better off having you drop in from above. What do you mean, above? Seems like a good, good plan to just jump off a building. Can you hear me? Testing. Testing. One, two, three. Yep. Read you just fine. Now why don't you power up the camera? <laughs> we got a little droney friend. I've got a nice, strong signal. Okay, good to know. And I have my magic backpack and my bag underneath it. <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't work. It is very dark for me. So, I assume you guys can probably see absolutely nothing. <laughs> Seems like a good thing. <laughs> well, only a good thing because you guys can't see how terribly bad my free running is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, we got this. And we're on an elevator. Yep, seems like a good way up. It's amazing how many things are climbable in this game. Oh, they're still 
Ooh, that's how we go. Seriously, <laughs> Sean? Fuck you. <laughs> oh, I do love Sean. He's a very hilarious person. Ooh. Yeah. It's a good thing I'm totally, definitely not scared of heights. <laughs> totally not freaking me out right now. Oh, thank god this isn't VR. I would probably be puking. Ooh. Yeah. Let's hope my, uh... <laughs> my control scheme is, uh... Oh, I want it. Not control scheme. Let's hope my controller doesn't break and fling us halfway off the building, Desmond. Because that is quite the drop. <laughs> Doesn't look like it would be fun to hit the bottom either. Though you are wearing a parachute, so we probably would be fine. At least I assume it's a parachute. Jesus. Look on the bright side. No security to worry about. And on the not so bright side, the slightest misstep means you're effectively the paste. Shut up, Sean. Thanks for that, Sean. <laughs> uh, always the optimist, Sean. Always the optimist. There you go. Right. Oh god, we're going on the outside of the building again. Does that say H2O top? Or H20 top, saying like that. Almost there, Desmond. <laughs> Once you reach the top of the lit up crane, you should be high enough to make the jump. Should? It'll be fine, don't worry. <laughs> if we're not high enough, then I guess I'm gonna turn into paste. <laughs> I love Sean. Oh, he is absolutely one of my favourite characters. Oh. Maybe we should make him the protagonist of the next game. Oh god, this is very high. Jump when you're ready, but wait for my signal to open the chute. Timing's really important here. Too soon or too late and you'll miss the building. Oh god, this is very high up. Oof. Now, open your sh oh, we open the chute almost immediately after jumping. Oh. Thank god it opened then. Thought we were going to turn into paste for a second. This is a very slow parachute ride down. We're still very high up. <coughs> We weren't that low. Come on. <laughs> and it's a bag in a bag. Magic. Somebody's just casually keeping an Isu artifact on their desk. Jesus, you have a very strong elbow, Desmond. So, so, you must be Desmond. Not exactly what I expected, but I guess your kind doesn't have many options these days. Who are you? Ask your father. Now give me that. I don't think so. Look, I'm not supposed to kill you, but the boss man didn't say anything about fucking you up. So you got to the camp. Oh. <laughs> you really shouldn't get very close to Desmond. I mean, he's he's quite notoriously dangerous. Oh, and we're in the van ride back. <laughs> very quiet van ride. <laughs> so who the hell is Daniel Cross? Believe it or not, he used to be an assassin. The assassin, the way I've heard it told, but... Turned out he was a sleeper agent for Abstergo, programmed to infiltrate and destroy the organization. How did he know you were there? We could be compromised. They must have caught me snooping inside their network and sent Cross to see what we were after. If they were aware of our current location, we'd know. Though, I will say this. It doesn't bode very well for future expeditions. 
I've set up some cameras True. topside. If anyone shows up, we'll see it. I'd suggest you go see about finding a socket for that power source. Or we can return to Connor if you prefer. All the artifacts in the world won't mean a thing without the key. Yeah. It's very, very true. I think I'll save putting the power socket in for later. Good Get back luck, in the Desmond. animus. These are troubled times. The already uneasy alliance between the crown and its subjects. There you go, I can use my weapons. And behind them both the Templars plot, pulling strings and moving pieces. History dictates they seek order through control. But how will they affect it here? Who supports them? And what conspiracies have they already spun? All these things I must determine. For only by knowing my enemy can I hope to stop them. Well, at least it's letting me use my weapons in my little uh, loading screen room. So what year is it now? 1773 still. Okay. We haven't jumped Connor. super far ahead. Connor. Spare a moment. Of course. Have a look. What is it? Xing Bao, or rope dart if you prefer. One of the many plans given to us by Xiao Yun to... <sighs> Sorry. We'll have to work on this. <laughs> Right. Is it going to throw me straight into Don another cut screen? Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? Okay. Now, I'm guessing. What do you mean? What has happened? We are very broken right now. Can I had to leave. fix said this? That the land was being sold. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm going to quickly reload the last checkpoint. See if that fixes our picture. I don't want us watching just a white screen. That's not very interesting now, is it? There we go. Ganondogo. All fixed. Yes, my friend. What brings you here? Is the village all right? For now. What do you mean? What has happened? Men came, claiming we had to leave. They said that the land was being sold and that the Confederacy had consented. We sent an envoy, but they would not listen. You must refuse. We cannot oppose the Satcham. But you're right as well. We cannot give up our home. Do you have a name? Do you know who is responsible? He's called William Johnson. Where is Johnson now? In Boston, making preparations for the sale. Sale? This is theft! Connor, take care. These men are powerful. What would you have me do? I made a promise to my people. If you insist on this slightly of action, angry. seek out Sam Adams in Boston. You'll be able to help. What have oh, you come done? On, when my people go to war, a hatchet is buried into a post to signify its start. When the threat is ended, the hatchet is removed. Uh, you could have used a tree. Yeah, probably could have. Yeah. And look at us in our new little outfit. Yeah, Connor is very, very kitted out and he's a, now a full grown assassin. So, I want to thank you guys very much for joining me on this episode. Now we've seen Connor become a fully grown assassin. We've uh, stabbed some red coats in the face and we've hit a guy over the head with a battery for a weird temple. So, been a productive episode overall. So, thank you all very much for joining me. Thank you for watching Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Be sure to play it. See you guys next time.